Hello Scorpio, welcome to Wasted Traditions. I'm Tiffany, here we explore the wisdom of the tarot. I read intuitively, offering general insights and guidance, encouraging you to take what resonates with you and to leave the rest. And before we get started, I'm going to bless my decks of cards. Divine Spirit, bless these cards with your wisdom and light as I shuffle and draw. May your divine presence guide my readings and illuminate the paths of those seeking answers. So shall it be. Okay, Scorpio, this is your reading for the week of March 3rd through March 9th. Let's get into it and find out what spirit has for you. Scorpio, drop in the comments. What boundaries did you set last week? If you didn't catch last week's video, I will link it in the cards as well as in the description below so you can check that out. Let me know if you had to set boundaries with and for what reason if you're comfortable sharing that. All right, Spirit, what do you need Scorpio to know? This is the Starseed Oracle I'm using today, Scorpio. All right. We are going to do these one at a time with clarifiers. I'm going to turn this first one over. Portal. Doors are opening. You decide. Rewards. Wild card. That's for you, Scorpio. Doors are opening. You decide. Rewards, wild card, something unexpected. You will be rewarded. No one thought you were even in the running. You're the wild card, Scorpio. Let's get some clarifiers for you. Spirit, what do you need Scorpio to know about this portal opening up to them? That will be absolutely rewarding. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Interesting. I'm loving it already. Let's see what the shadow card is that ends up on the bottom of the pile. And it normally points to your hopes or fears. You have Ten of Wands. We will get into this shortly, Scorpio. So, with this portal card, you have the Ace of Pentacles. This is beautiful imagery from the Starseed Oracle. Love this deck. There is something opening up to you, an opportunity opening up to you. And here we, Spirit confirms this for you with the Ace of Pentacles, Scorpio. Something new is coming in for you, a new venture, a new opportunity. I am delighted for you because Spirit tells us something and then confirms it for you, Scorpio. All right, let's see. Let's get a clarifier for, if I can get my cards, a clarifier for Scorpio, for this Ace of Pentacles, this new opportunity, new beginning. Wow, Scorpio, the doors are opening. You're that wild card. You're the one they never saw coming and you are about to shock them all. They will be shocked that it is you. But you'll already know because Spirit is telling you now. Get ready. All right. Spirit, clarify this Ace of Pentacles for Scorpio with this portal, the opportunity in front of Scorpio. Mm, that's too many. <laughs> ah, the hanged man. Be patient. Be patient, Scorpio. Be patient with what's coming in for you. 
it I'm getting that more than likely you're gonna have to release old limiting beliefs in order for you to accept this new opportunity in front of you and to be able to walk through that open door all right Scorpio be patient and also get a new perspective on things all right what else spirit uh, this this new opportunity this is beautiful this new opportunity ten of cups this is your happy ending your happily ever after this new opportunity is bringing that toward you your happily ever after is coming towards you it is seeking you okay Scorpio what else do we have spirit has for you surrender to the sweetness Venus energy pleasure joy make love to life this is just this is all flowing so perfectly for you so perfectly for you Scorpio a new opportunity is coming in bringing new beginnings um, helping you to change your perspective on things have patience with it have patience with yourself it's bringing you to your happily ever after so surrender to the sweetness that is coming towards you have pleasure in this journey find joy in this journey make love to life look at this 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 is you this is you Scorpio look at the life in front of you look at the joy and the pleasure in front of you Scorpio five of wands there will be a little bit of struggle but this struggle also brings freedom to you. It brings freedom to you. You are resourceful. You are capable. And this new venture will be adventurous for you. Not to say that things will go perfectly for you, Scorpio. I don't know, but no one ever told me um, life was fair. So I don't expect it to be. When there are good things in front of you when there are things to elevate you it does not come without challenges because that is a part of growth the challenges in front of you for this new opportunity coming towards you Scorpio they are for your betterment they are for your growth they are to create change in your life shake things up allow you to have more freedom and to become more resourceful yes indeed indeed the page of wands the page of wands for you, Scorpio. Okay. So again, this is excitement. This is freedom. You are going on an adventure, exploring the next level of your life, Scorpio, for what spirit has for you cannot be taken from you. Okay. What else do we have, spirit? Yes, a tower moment. There's a tower moment because the... The life you know right now is about to shift. This this cycle has come to an end for you, Scorpio. In order for you to take advantage of the new opportunity and the doors opening in front of you, getting you to that happily ever after. This is not something to be afraid of. This is something to actually celebrate. This tower moment is meant to help you celebrate, right? Um, it is a sudden shift. And it can feel a little shaky at first, but it is with that challenge, the, the challenge, but it is nothing to be afraid of. It's nothing to be fearful of this tower moment. Again, it's bringing you freedom. You have freedom here. You have freedom in your tower moment. This is meant for you. Scorpio, nothing about this reading so far is giving me cause for pause. And I just want you to know it feels really good what I'm seeing for you. This this last one, perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out, common ground. Perspective. Zoom out. Get the bigger picture and why this is happening for you. It's not happening to you, Scorpio. This is happening for you. So zoom out. Get the big picture, right? Get on common ground with your higher self because your higher self wants to see you win. The universe wants to see you win, Scorpio. Take advantage of it. Zoom out. Get a bigger perspective. And that's also, again, what we're seeing with the hangman. Getting a new perspective. Zooming out. Because what all that is happening around you, it doesn't even matter because what the next phase is in your life, 
we won't have to deal with that, right? Page of Swords. The, the, the beginnings. The beginnings. It's all here for the taking, Scorpio. There is... There is some learning. There is learning on the on this journey for you. Might be it might feel like a slight learning curve for you, Scorpio, and that's okay because you are capable and you are able to learn and retain what is necessary, the lessons ahead of you to get you to that next level, to get you to freedom, to get you to that new opportunity, Scorpio. Uh-huh. Two of Wands, absolutely. Just creating new, new relationships. There's harmony and balance. You're you're going to have to. It's almost like leaving home. This this portal, this door opening for you, a new opportunity. It's almost like leaving home is what I'm getting because you're setting out on a new adventure. You see, you have the world in your hand. The world is in the palm of your hand. This is you choosing your destiny, creating the life that you want, creating balance for yourself, harmony for yourself. Okay, Scorpio, zooming out, looking further, zooming out. What can the world what can the world offer you and what can you offer the world, Scorpio? Justice. Justice is for Scorpio. Love this. Lots of major energy going on here. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. Okay. So you're going to find you're going to find your voice, Scorpio. You're going to find your truth, right? Because last week. Scorpio in your reading we talked about setting boundaries those you had to set those boundaries up last week in order to get to your truth your truth is what keeps you on the path to your highest self your truth Scorpio it's what helps you to ready yourself to walk through the door of this new opportunity when it shows up for you okay so for you, Scorpio, this, this reading, it's nothing but love here. It's nothing but joy. It's nothing but pleasure. Let's take a look at that shadow card. The Ten of Wands was your shadow card. Shadow card again. Shadow cards point to hopes or fears, positives or negatives, right? Pros or cons, however you want to look at it, okay? So with this Ten of Wands, Scorpio... You might have a feeling of being overburdened in your current situation. And spirit is here to tell you, go ahead and lay that burden down because I have something, I have something new in store for you. I have a new opportunity in store for you that is going to help you to unburden yourself and to keep pushing forward to the next level of your life in order to have a harmonious and balanced life, right? This is telling you, Scorpio, this is a time for transformation. This is a time for renewal. This is a time of endings, right? We're ending the current cycle. This is also pointing to ending that current cycle, just as the tower card points to ending that uh, current cycle, Scorpio. It's time for renewal. It's time for transformation. It's time for new opportunities. Okay, Scorpio, take advantage of what is in front of you. Spirit is leading you on the path to your highest self for your highest good in order for you to have next level living, Scorpio. I, I love this for you. I love this reading for you. I'm I'm excited for you. Um, I just feel like you've been waiting for your opportunity. And like we found out in the beginning, it's like been a wild card, right? You're the wild card no one saw coming. You're the underdog nobody counted in and you are about to shock them. You are absolutely going to shock them with what spirit is telling us for you, Scorpio. I really hope this has resonated with you in some form or fashion and helps you on your path, Scorpio. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos I have for you. I will see you soon. Until then, bye-bye.